An Argentinian court has acquitted a suspect involved in the largest terrorist attack in Argentinian history. Carlos Tejedin was accused of delivering the car bomb that was used to kill 85 people and injure more than 300 at AMIA, the Argentine-Israeli Mutual Association in Buenos Aires. But he's just been acquitted. Jewish groups are infuriated because it's been over 25 years since the attack and still Nobody has been held responsible, despite significant evidence that Iran was behind the deadly bombing. Well, we have Carlos Gurovich joining us. He's the host and editor of our Spanish language program here on I-24 News. So, Carlos, why is this verdict controversial? I mean, what evidence was there against Carlos Tejedin? Well, uh, Natasha, Carlos Tejedin was accused to be the guy that sold the SUV van to the terrorists that the, committed the attack. And the question along all this year was, did he know what uh, was meant to be done with the van he sold? Now, if he knew, he is an accomplice. If he didn't, uh, he's just a bad guy selling crap uh, cars that he recovered from stolen uh, police, officer, police officers that stole those cars. Right. Now, the, the jury, after hearing uh, for four years uh, this uh, trial evidences that show that he knew that the car he sold was prepared to uh, produce uh, a terrible heinous uh, crime uh, they decided that he uh, he's acquitted he uh, they will deliver their decision in three months from now and at this point nobody is to blame now, has anyone been held accountable for this terrorist attack whatsoever? It's widely believed that Iran and Hezbollah were behind it. And again, the question is whether or not Tejedin had any no ties with these groups. Well, the evidence collected uh, on the side pointed that uh, Iranian uh, officials in Argentina were behind this attack. And uh, since 2007, uh, high officials of the Iranian government have red alerts from Interpol, but they uh, never uh, go or went to Argentina uh, to stand before trial. Right. This decision is very interesting and, uh, and has two lectures. From one side, the Iranians have always said that the Argentine ju judicial system is not uh, uh, good, is uh, biased against them. But now that the bad guy was acquitted, it should be interesting to see if they are ready to come to Argentina and give testimony. Now, the Jewish community in Argentina is, of course, outraged. They're saying that they're going to appeal this decision. Can they do this? Is there really anything that they can do to demand justice at this point so many years later? Well, the leaders of the Jewish community really uh, decided that they will appeal to the high court. Uh, the possibilities to get any conviction are near to zero. But I think that the important thing is to keep this uh, case alive. So uh, new generations, the young generation, uh, will know what happened in Argentina. And uh, I have to, to, to say that if I have to resume this case after so many years, I would say that Argentina is the kingdom of impunity.